Okay, we're gonna finish 7-3. So here's all the notes we did before. So now we're going to use these exponent properties to solve equations. And you're gonna get something I'm gonna call our handy handy powers pocket guide. That is going to be your best friend for this part of this chapter. Um, it will be allowed on the test, so do not lose it. Um, here's what we're gonna do. I'm going to try to get the bases the same. If you kind of read this key concept up here, what it says is that if I have a base and the bases are the same, that means their exponents are the same. Okay, five to the third is 125. The only way to get to that spot is if x equaled three over here. Okay, so it's almost like you can say your bases cancel out. They don't really actually cancel per se, um, but you can kind of use that thinking mentality to get to where we need to go here. So using your powers pocket guide, what I want you to do is on 5a, I'm going to highlight the bases. I have 125 and 5. I said that backwards, but that's what I have. Look at the smaller number. The smaller number is 5. Now look on your powers pocket guide. 5 to what power gives me 125? It's going to be 5 cubed. So I'm going to rewrite 125 as 5 cubed because I know that that's the same thing. And then again, if you want, you can kind of think about your bases canceling a little bit. And what you're going to end up with is just the exponents. And you're going to solve from there. Which in this case, it's actually solved. So x equals 3. All right, let's try a more complicated one. You don't have 11 or 12 on your paper. Um, I encourage you to go ahead and maybe write down 11 squared is 121. 12 squared is 144. And 13 squared is 169. You might write those down because you could potentially you might end up using them. All right, so what I'm going to end up with next is I look at the smaller number and I see that it is 12 and I ask myself, how can I write 144 using base 12? And I notice that 144 is the same thing as 12 squared. That means my bases are the same. When I'm using the word bases, guys, what I mean by that is I mean the number, like the big number. Okay, the big number that is being taken to the power. The exponents are, well, the exponents, the base number is the big number on the bottom. Okay. Um, since they're the same, that means I can just bring down the exponents only. And this time, it wasn't just as simple x equals 2. It's a 2x plus 3 equals 2. And the good news is that's just a happy little two-step equation that I know how to solve. 2x equals 2 minus 3 is negative 1 x equals negative one half. That's your answer. Okay, let's see. I want to try a more complicated one. Let's try number 15. So when I look at 15, um, I see that those bases are 4 and 32. So I look at the smaller base and I say, okay, how can I take 4, right? Take 32 and write that with base 4. So 4 to what power gives me 32? And if you're looking at your power's pocket guide, you're probably noticing nothing because 4 squared is 16, but 4 cubed is 64. So I can't get to 32 using whole numbers. So here's what I'm going to try. Is there a base that can use an exponent to become both 4 and 32? The answer is yes. Check it out. 4 squared. Oh, I'm sorry. A little bit of a brain fart there. 2 squared is this 4, right? So rewrite 4 is 2 squared. Now, what do I do with this x minus 3? Well, you just write it with it. x minus 3. Put it in parentheses. It's going to be a multiplier. Okay. Now, 32. 2 to what power gives me 32? Um... I believe this one's on your power's pocket guide, but if not, just kind of type in your calculator. Two to the, you know, two squared is four. Two to the third, two to the fourth, two to the fifth. Ah, oh, there it is. Two to the fifth equals 32. 
Now that my bases are the same, I can just drop down the exponents. 2 parentheses, x minus 3 equals 5. And now I have a three-step equation. Check this out. Distribute. Add. Scroll. Divide. Remember that delta math wants you to leave it in improper fraction form. Boom. Done. All right. Um, I'm going to set up another one and make a third video because there's one more weird example that I want you to see.